When it comes to fat loss, we all know that being in a caloric deficit is the most effective strategy to help reduce body fat. But there are supplements that can help to speed up the rate at which we lose body fat. So let's explore exactly which supplements can be integrated into one's fat loss regime. What's up guys, my name is Lucas, and today I'm here to discuss my top three supplements to help facilitate greater fat loss. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my mission is to bring you guys the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So please be sure to like this video, hit that subscribe button below. And if you have any questions or comments related to the topics in this video, feel free to leave them below as I do my best to respond to each and every single one. The information depicted in this presentation is purely for informational purposes only. Please consult your healthcare professional before making any changes to your lifestyle or routine. This is not medical advice. So of course, today we are here to look at specific supplements that can help to facilitate greater fat loss. The very first supplement I'm here to present is a relatively risky supplement known as Yohimbine HCL. Yohimbine HCL is actually an alkaloid that is found in the Yohimb bark, which can actually facilitate weight loss by acting on a very specific receptor in the body. But Yohimbine is also being used as an aphrodisiac, so it increases sex drive in both men and women because it acts in the brain, but it also aids in erectile dysfunction because it helps with blood flow specifically to the penis. And in general, it is considered a very powerful stimulant. And through its stimulant actions, it can actually help to increase adrenaline in the body. And this can result in specific regulatory processes that affect fat cells and can help to facilitate fat burning. So let's get stuck into how your himbean actually works. When we have a look at fat cells, we have two types of receptors for adrenaline and noradrenaline called the alpha and beta receptors. When these catecholamines or adrenaline or noradrenaline bind to these beta receptors, fat cells are mobilized for fat oxidation. When the chemicals bind to these alpha receptors, the cells do not mobilize fatty acids. So we cannot use fat as a fuel source. So this is actually the scientific explanation for the stubborn fat phenomenon and the reason why it's so hard to lose those last few pounds on your lower abs, hips, or thighs. So stubborn body fat in these areas in your body are also high in these alpha receptors and low in these beta receptors. And research shows that euhimbine can specifically block the activity of these alpha receptors. So this enables your body to reduce its body fat stores and use this fat as a fuel source so that we can help to reduce that stubborn body fat. Pre-exercise administration of your himbean may enhance the efficacy of exercise training as a fat loss strategy by boosting lipolysis, which is the breakdown of fats. Obviously, your himbean is a stimulant, and so it's going to be very energizing. You definitely don't want to be using this in the evening. So in terms of dosages, dosages of 0.2 milligrams per kilogram of body weight have been successfully used to increase fat burning without significant implications on cardiovascular parameters such as heart rate or blood pressure. So to give you a range, we have about 14 milligrams for a 68 kilogram person or 150 pound person about 18 milligrams for a 91 kilogram or 200 pound person, 22 milligrams for a 114 kilogram or 250 pound person. So you'll see a link to your Himbean HCL, specifically the HCL form in the video description below if you're wondering where to purchase your Himbean HCL. Obviously, your himbean can have some side effects when we dose too high, such as irregular heartbeat, high blood pressure, anxiety, and insomnia. So many people find it's, uh, your himbean very stimulating, very energizing, and again, works best fasted first thing in the morning. So let's say you're doing fasted cardio first thing in the morning, your himbean HCL would be a very useful supplement to help to facilitate greater fat loss. The next ingredient or supplement I'm here to discuss is one called Forskolin. So Forskolin is actually the active ingredient in the herb Coleus Forskolhi, which is a plant in the mint family that grows in subtropical areas 
such as India, Burma, and Thailand. As far as supplementation goes, you'll find they'll either contain a dried powder made from the roots of the plant, which is about 10% forskolin by weight or forskolin extract, which is the molecule directly. So they can actually extract forskolin from the plant and use it directly. So the primary mechanism by which forskolin helps to increase fat loss is by increasing the cellular levels of a compound known as cyclic adenosine monophosphate, which is cyclic AMP or uh, CAMP. This molecule is actually an intracellular messenger relayer. So it's actually a secondary messenger that plays a vital role in the biochemical processes related to fat burning. So here we can see how forskolin works. Forskolin activates this cyclic AMP, which has many benefits also associated with better health, such as reduced inflammation. It reduces blood pressure. It's another key caution is that forskolin can lower blood pressure. It also has anti-glycoma effects. It has a positive inotropic action on the heart, so it improves the pumping capacity of the heart. It also prevents platelet aggregation, and it also has bronchodilation effects. So it actually dilates the capillaries and the, the bronchioles in the lungs to help to get a fuller breath. So it's actually traditionally used to treat asthma, just for your information. Forskolin stimulates the production of hormone-sensitive lipase which is responsible for the mobilization of fat stores and cyclic AMP can even raise your basal metabolic rate through its interactions with another substance known as ATP. So ATP is the main energy form currency in our body and forskolin can definitely help to increase ATP levels in addition to its thyroid enhancing properties. So we know that forskolin can increase T4 to T3 conversion, which is gonna warm up the body, help with thermogenesis and reduce body fat. In this study here, in a paper published in the Journal of Obesity Research back in 2005, researchers gave participants forskolin over a course of 12 weeks and observed an average increase in free testosterone by 33%, 10 pounds of fat loss and eight pounds of increase in lean body mass. Definitely a worthwhile supplement to help one with their body fat reduction goals or help with their shredding program. Forskolin dosages that are used based on the clinical trials. The suggested dose is about 25 milligrams of forskolin, about 30 to 60 minutes prior to a meal, twice per day. So I would personally, and I have used forskolin pre-workout because it also has some insulin sensitizing effects. About 25 milligrams of forskolin can do a great job. So you'll see a link to forskolin in the video description below. The next novel supplement is actually one known as L-Baba. L-Baba I've spoken about on my channel before, but I thought I'd bring it up again. L-Baba, which is beta amino isobutyric acid, is actually an amino acid that is generated during exercise and is considered to be an exercise mimetic because it's known as an exercise-induced muscle factor. It's not naturally found in the genetic code of any organism it's formed when either thymine or valine are broken down. The findings were so substantial that they even made their way into online news sites that claims Albaba may be exercise in a pill. Fortunately, Albaba can be used in capsule form. Again, you'll see a link to Albaba in the video description below. So we know that Albaba can help to increase the body's insulin sensitivity, similar to dihydroberberine I've spoken about on my channel. But let's look at specifically how Albaba works in the body. So interestingly, Baba doesn't turn white fat completely into brown fat, but it instead turns this fat into a third type of fat known as beige fat. Now this adipose form has the characteristic of brown fat, but exists within white fat cells themselves, which allows for greater heat generation from within our stored fat. In addition, BABA also influences liver fat burning and cholesterol regulation through PPAR alpha activation. And when PPAR alpha is activated, it increases the expression of lipoprotein lipase and apolipoprotein AV and decreases the expression of APOC in the liver. With all these changes that occur through supplementing LBABA, this allows for the greater breakdown of triglycerides and cholesterol and transport fatty acids out of the liver to be stored again or burned as a fuel source. So 
Olbeba is definitely a versatile new supplement that I think deserves a lot more attention to help one with their fat burning goals. So you'll see a link to Olbeba in the video description below. In terms of a dosage for Olbeba, the suggested dosages are about 250 milligrams to 500 milligrams once to twice per day. It does not need to be consumed with food. Again, if you have any questions about Olbeba, You'll see it on my website. I've covered it in a few blogs and articles there. So guys, I hope you learned something new. I hope these compounds help to facilitate and help with your weight loss or fat loss goals. If you also enjoy this sort of content, I recommend checking out my Instagram, my podcast, and all the other videos on my channel. And please do me a favor, guys. Please help to share my channel. I'm trying to grow this channel to build such reliable health information and it really helps when you guys share my content so thanks for tuning in i look forward to seeing you in the next video